came prepared today with my hater blockers. We about to hook this wig up, y'all. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up? Today's video is going to be all about being a grandmother, okay? My inner grandmother spirit. I hope you all have it like a great week. Your girl's ready. I got me DDs on deck. On another note, we're going to do this salt and pepper wig. It's by a company I already worked with several times before, which is called Eon Wigs. And this is the tea part. I already did like a salt and pepper wig before for them. I do believe it was them. I guess they figured because the girl is a grandmother that she just may want to fit the part, play the part, look the part. I'm trying to be like one of those grandmothers that you don't really know is a grandmother. Okay, like, you know, the one that you look at and then they be like, you lying. Because I do get that. And I just be like, no, why would I be lying about being somebody's grandmother? Somebody's four little boys grandmother like who goes around and says yeah i'm a grandmother like why would you want to make up that story are you like scoring any brownie dating points with that one so i, I don't really want to fit the part or play the part but for this particular video i'm going to that's why i got on this t-shirt today okay first of all this was a valentine's day present from my son i wanted this shirt so bad like i seen it in walmart and i wanted it so bad they only had one left and it was a 3x this was like probably like four or five days before he even gave this to me for Valentine's Day. I swear my kids be up in my head, like reading my thoughts. They just know me too well. But anyway, we're going to get into this video by Eon Hair. I'm going to show y'all how y'all salt and pepper, lace front, tea front wig come. And y'all, we just want to... I'm not going to be there for you. Because oh, you were never there for me. So it's time to look the part, be the part, and be the grandma, as I am already. So it's a tea part, as you guys see. It's very limited space or parting, and I'm definitely not giving you the finger. Okay, all right, guys. But it was really easy to bleach this one because it's only a tea part. I'm going to say this. This lace is really nice. Do you see the lace? Like, it's a really nice lace. Like, seriously. That's why I was dancing. The lace is really nice on this unit. I'm very impressed, okay? I've worked with Eon wigs quite a few times, and I've really never had a problem with any of their lace wigs, okay? But this is some really good lace, and it's very, like, invisible almost, so you barely can see it when cutting it. I had a little bit of an issue cutting it because it's so transparent that you can barely see it. But as for the wig, the texture is really nice. It's actually a wavy unit, but you can always flat iron it or put some heat to it just to take the wave out and when you're ready to wear it wavy just go ahead and wash it and it will revert back to its natural curl pattern 
but as you guys see i'm just cutting around the edges of the unit and i really am not like the hugest fan of a t-part wig only because the edges always look so thick but this one actually looks really good so i guess for a grandma i got a good wig here you know what i mean um i did put it in a part in the middle because you really can't do too many parting with this unit but then later on in the video you will see that i decided to just give it a flip over because i just really wasn't feeling how i had the part though i could have kind of like shifted the wig to the left more or to the right more but i just decided to do a um flip over method i'm not even really going to do any baby hairs because you know grandmas don't really have baby hairs i mean i'm a grandma but you you, you guys get what i'm saying now now, as I was editing the video, I was seeing like there was a little, uh, quite a few flyaway hairs, which I did not brush down. So the way I styled it, I wasn't like the hugest fan of it, but I just want to give you guys an idea of what you can do with the wig. So don't feel like you're forced to always wear it curly or wavy. If the hair texture is like a nice smooth texture, girl, put some heat to that and just, you know, style it up different. Try to get the most out of any wig that you have. You know what I mean? You don't have to always wear it curly, straighten it out if you have the patience. Some wigs, I'm just really not going to straighten out. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's a kinky, tight, curly wig, girl, I'm not sitting there flat ironing that wig. I'm definitely not going to do that. But for some of them, I would say go for it. You know, it's worth a try. But for the most part, you know, this is a really easy install. I wasn't trying to go ham on like adhering it down in so many particular spots, you know, because it's a T-part. And I think like for beginners, T-parts are really good because you don't really have to do a lot. You don't have to bleach in so many areas. You don't have to tweeze in so many areas. And it gives you just, just enough to play around with. But I mean, hey, a beginner could wear just about anything. Now me personally, I always thought that like a T-part is just for strictly synthetic wigs. Like that's in my opinion. Like. I would just wear a T-part only for a synthetic wig. But you know, to each his own. This wig is, you know, is decent. So if you're a grandma or you got some grays or you want to do the salt and pepper challenge, there ain't really no salt and pepper challenge. I'm just saying challenge me, girl. Set challenge me. Get you a, a salt and pepper wig, post up a picture, and just tag me, okay? But other than that, you know, Eon got some affordable wigs. I like them. They're really sweet. They're patient. And I mean, what more can I say? I just take a little toothpaste. I'm just toothpaste. I I just take my toothbrush and spray some hairspray on it just to kind of control the wispy flyaway hairs because I really don't want baby hairs as a grandma well I mean like I said I'm a grandma too but on particular wigs I'm just really not too fond of baby hairs especially this one you know I'm trying to look aged or something like that you know grandma gotta play the part I mean like look it didn't look too bad like this but you know I rather had um I don't know why I flipped it over, to be honest with you. I think it has a lot to do with my long head, okay? But the wig is still cute regardless. Don't mind me. If you don't like the way I styled it, well, then that's just too bad. But, you know, I'm just messing with you guys. You can definitely style it numerous ways. I just really wanted to show you guys, though, but that even though it's a middle part or a T part, you don't have to wear it in a part. You can definitely flip it over. I didn't need, I didn't really know too much about flipping over no T-part wigs. I really didn't think it was possible. But I think it just has to do with the actual wig itself, how it was created and stuff. And like this one, the hairline was really decent on this and the lace too, guys. So I give them their props. They did a really good job with this lace. And you know, hey, check out the information down below. And I'm going to get back to styling. And you guys, I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, you guys, so this is my granny look, my salt and pepper shaker. The hair texture is really a wavy texture as it was on the website. But once I washed it, I just decided to do something totally different with it. So you can wash it and it will revert back to its natural, you know, curly uh, texture. But if you do want to wear it in like a press style, you can also do that as well. This is just a T-part, so you are limited to the parting space. It's normally in the middle. I went ahead and flipped it over, kind of like pushed it back a little bit and did like this. So that way there wasn't a part showing, but you can definitely wear it with the part. Or if you want to be creative, just, you know, 
do it without the part. But grandma don't have no baby hairs, okay? Grandmas don't never have baby hairs. Well, I mean, maybe they do, but I just wanted to make it look as natural as possible. And, you know, I just brushed down a little bit of hairs. Nothing major. The hairline is good. The lace is decent. It does kind of like melt. It was a little bit um, a, too big on the sides, but I wasn't able to cut it off because if I would have, I would have been cutting into the actual wig. Instead of me having to cut it, I just kind of like tucked it behind my ear and brought the hairs down over here so that way I can have like some loose, just, you know, fly away sideburn hairs. Nothing like paste it down. You know, grandmas don't normally like paste their hair down. Like none that I know, okay? Even though I'm a grandmother and I do that, but you know, you know what I'm saying, y'all. Check out Eon Wigs. Let me know what you think about this salt and pepper granny do, okay? They got some really nice wigs, so you know, check them out. I do want to say the hair texture is nice. It's not silky because it is a loose kind of texture, kind of loose weight texture. So when you curl it, the curl is gonna stay. It's not, it's just not really silky. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's just like a really nice texture. I don't know how to explain it. It just is, okay? It's just, this is what I'm gonna look like with salt and pepper hair and like the future then I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I think I would just want it to all be one solid color. And I think if I had to choose, I would definitely, I don't know. Like, I mean, if you if you got to choose, you would probably choose like the darkest color, but I probably would choose like the, the, the grayish color, like fully gray, because I've seen some hot grandmas, which is a fully gray hair head. And that color is really pretty. So yeah, if I had to choose, it would definitely be just like a full, like head gray. I don't, I don't know if I would want it like this, even though I do have some grays. Not like this, but I do have some grays. This is like gradually going into, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't really even know. And yeah, check out Eon Wigs down below. And on that note, girl, I got to go.